Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the shop and looking at the new cars, we only have one new one and it's the Scallop, which is another semi-truck. At stock, it has a score of 180 and a horsepower of 799. So let's upgrade it and see the customizations for it. The score on this thing doesn't actually go up that much whenever you put on more parts. And there isn't too many customizations that you can put on this. And at max, it has a score of 338 and a horsepower of 1,429. So this is one of the lowest score cars that you can get. And the miles per hour on this is also pretty bad at only like 130. And now you've probably already seen this, but leaving the dealership right over here, you can see that there's a new place over here. And heading into here, it shows the two different maps. Obviously, Japan's coming May 5, so we're going to have to wait for that to see what it is like. And that you can go to this place from the map in the bottom right as well, and clicking Open Map Selector and choosing it. Or uh, they have a new GPS system which shows the whole map, and you can go wherever you want on the map now. And... It shows exactly where the races are, all the food and trailer deliveries, and all the specific locations. And also on here, you can invite friends into the game, and you can TP through this area as well. Now with that all being said, let's collect these weekly challenges. Uh, it seems to be the same challenges again. Maybe there's a little bit less races? I don't remember if it was 30 or 20 before. Maybe it was 30? And we have another hooligan. So let's go grind for this. And there we go, we have finished all the weekly challenges, now let's click them. And another Casper TRC, which I didn't really need this for anything else. So I'm probably not going to be using that. And the new Hooligan Beast. And here it is, it has a monster logo on the side and some lightning all around it. Uh, this thing is actually really bad with acceleration at stock. 
and it has a score of 882 and a horsepower of 935. And at stock, it gets around 235 miles per hour. And now let's upgrade it and see what customizations I can put on it. This seems to be another car that has a score higher if you use the track crank, but I don't think this is actually better. And here it is maxed with a score of 1,575 and a horsepower of 1,717. Yeah, the top speed on this thing isn't great. It's able to get around 300 miles per hour on a perfect straight. Uh, so it seems like it's going to be better for track. Let me check that out. And here we are on race circuit. It's obviously not going to be the best because we just got the mixture. But this might be... Pretty decent on this race for 1.5 thousand. And I obviously have to crash. Alright, uh, it's not too bad, especially for 1.5 thousand, uh, I think I need to see what the Senna can do on this at 1.5 thousand. So it seems that they are basically the exact same, so if you want to use the new car for 1.5 thousand races, which are strictly mainly turns, this is definitely a good option for it. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.